A lot of unknowns on our roster right now. You look on offense, you've got 42 scholarship players, 34 of them are freshmen and sophomores, very little playing experience. Um, but within those unknowns, I do feel like we've got some talented players. I really do. I've seen this, I've been in this league for a long time, and, and uh, I think there's some very talented guys in that. Obviously, we're, we're still searching for a starting quarterback. Seeing from them that allowed them to be the two that are battling out for this quarterback. Spot. Well, command, uh, a positive effect on the guys around them, moving the offense, scoring points. Uh, I saw a competitive edge in both of them that I like. I want to be a big, fast, physical team. And that's, that's, what, that's what you want to be identified with. It's uh, got the classic overachievers on your football team that understand the work ethic it takes to be successful. What are some of the challenges for the young football team when you have your first three SEC games on the road? We need to be comfortable being uncomfortable. That's something we're going to have to grow used to, to, to dealing with with two road games with the young football team and how some of these guys are going to respond, I have no idea. Uh, we can't simulate national TV September 1st in fall camp. Do you need to control your volume more on the sideline? You know, I think a lot's made of that. It really doesn't matter. At the end of the day, a lot of that's calculated. A lot of that's affecting a player, uh, motivating a unit. Um, and when you're winning and you're a coordinator and you're playing good defense, it's passion and it's energy and it's what we needed. Uh, when you're winning as a head coach and you win 11 games, win SEC Coach of the Year, it's passion, it's energy, it's what we needed. When you don't win a game, it's out of control, and, and, and uh, what's a guy doing? So it's all the perception. How much does that equal reality? I think nothing. Finally, Coach, your favorite interview at SEC Media Days was? This one. Yes, we got it. He's got it. Everyone, look, Will Muschamp comes right out here on SEC Media Days rapid fire, and he sticks the landing. He hopes to do the same in Columbia, South Carolina. You got to do the best you can do with with the with, with what you have on your on your roster. Uh, I've said that you go into a season. We have a lot of unknowns for, for us. It's a new staff, a new situation. Um, but I, I think we've got some very talented players in those unknowns, and I'm excited about the work ethic and the buy-in and all the intangible things it takes to be successful. I'm extremely excited about. Um, so, you know, I, there is no three-year plan, five-year plan. We plan to win now. Okay. And uh, that's my mentality. And we make decisions as far as who's going to be the quarterback or who's going to be the running back or who's going to play defensive end. Who helps us win right now? Uh, that's the bottom line, and that's what we plan on doing. Fall camp is a race against the clock. South Carolina has until September 1st to plant the seeds for success. Keep the main thing the main thing. So what is the main thing right now? It's football. When you're in the building, it's about ball right now. You got to approach one day at a time. I'm going to get better in this meeting. I'm going to get better in this practice. And one at a time. Don't look at the whole calendar. That's what we need to focus on. We don't need to worry about the season. We need to worry about having a great training camp and approaching each day the right way. Does everybody understand that? We talk about it all the time. Lead the nation in effort. We are a blue collar organization. Play that way. Lack of focus and effort, you won't see the field. I'll promise you that. I will play a lesser player, a lesser talented player, over a more talented player if he'll play hard. I'll tell you that right now. T Rob, you ready? Let's go double horn. Walk through, let's go. OD walk, OD walk. On the snap of the ball, my eyes are going to the receiver. But I want a man scooch. Remember, at 10 yards, be the receiver. I want to be even or below him if he's in the seam outside. That's fine, that's fine. But I want to make sure if I squat down, I bang him. I can't let him run vertical. Here we go, understand where you are, let's go. Next guy's up, let's go. Speedball, going that way. Speedball. Let's go. Run where we're going. Let's go. Run where we're going. Quit walking around. 
Let's go. Let's go. Ball's right here. Ball's right here. The intensity level is it's unreal. I mean, coach sets a high bar and I mean he expects us to meet it. There's he wants nothing less. Play the next play! Play the next play! Go! Go! Definitely high intensity. Uh, you know, tempo is always, you know, fast with Coach Muschamp. Um, he he does demand us to work hard, but you know, it's kind of rewarding at the end of the day. Run where you're going, let's go! Hey, that's a two-back set. You got the upside tied in, right? Let's go tighten down, one by eight. Hey, Chris, this is a great situation to work on man scooch. I mean, that's what I'm talking about. And when we just kind of do, that's not how we're going to play, right? Man scooch, that's the technique we're going to play. Play the right technique all the time. Then in the game, it's easy. Quit walking to a line. Play with some urgency. Tempo and repetition. Those two words define fall camp. In week one, the team is split into two separate practices. First up are the veterans. And for them, the new staff has a very clear message. Every rep matters and everything's being evaluated from walkthrough, from the meeting room, everything. Does everybody understand that? So if we ask you to finish a run, finish a run. All right? If we ask you to run to the ball, run to the ball. If we ask you to jog off the field, jog off the field. All right? Everybody understand that. Let's make sure we get that, all right, and we watch the tape today, okay? All right, so let's get it right. There is no, I wish I could have done it again. There is no, I got another senior here, right? So come out here and bust your ass. That's the bottom line. Next up are the rookies. The extra reps are invaluable. And at the sport's most important position, one newcomer is looking to take full advantage. Drop, eyes, hip, There you go, right when his hips sink, right here. All right, listen, playing as a young player has to do with really a couple things. Ability number one, eyes up here, Chavez. Eyes up here, all right? And maturity. What is maturity? Being able to battle through a little fatigue. But you gotta learn the tempo of practice. We're gonna practice fast, faster than you've ever practiced before. That's part of it. And if you can't handle it, you can't play. It's bottom line. All right, before we get started, okay? How many of you guys have ever heard of the dude named Pele? Played soccer. He's considered to be the best soccer player that's ever played the game of soccer. Now, he has a quote. I'm going to talk a little bit about it. Now, right, then we're going to get going, okay? So, Pele says this. He says, success is no accident. It's hard work, perseverance, learning, studying, sacrificing, the, and most of all, love for what you do. It's fair to say that the guys worked extremely hard. They had the biggest jump in is just being fundamentally sound and working technique and, and things that we wanted to do technique-wise. <laughs> Good practice starts. All right, with this. Back down. Driving to it. Okay, shoulders over knees over toes. Bounding arms, cheek to cheek. Tight elbows, chap. Here we go. On me. Hit. Bad. Shoulders down. Don't turn too early. Come out. Bad. All right. All right, stick it. Come out. Step. You're stepping under yourself, man. Definitely got a better grasp and understanding of not so much of what they need to do but why it's important in the grand scheme of things uh, to do it. There's a lot that we have to make sure that we keep progressing on. So again, the first thing I gotta do once I catch the ball straight, like what's the first thing you're gonna do? Mm -hmm. You're gonna do this and then, and then make a move, right? So we wanna take that motion out of it. That's better, good. I'm still trying to get that right hand over top of it. I'm right, just gonna knock the ball down. Get your hand underneath. Uh, I really like Coach McClendon. He's a really ener energetic uh, coach. I mean, he's a player's coach. I mean, he'll tell you to do something. Like, you ask him to show you how to do it, he can really show you how to do it. And that's like one thing I like about him as well. The biggest thing is, man, just getting those guys as ready as I possibly can for that moment. And understanding that how, how we do practice, uh, I think you I think you have to you have, you have to take into consideration that every day is similar to a game day. We express all the time to our players, definitely in, in, in the wide receiver room, that the guys who make plays on Saturday, you know, it's not, it's no mistake. You know, those are the guys that make the same plays throughout the week. We're very inexperienced, you know, from top to bottom in the room. Um, so uh, I do think we have some talented guys there. Jamar's done extremely well. I think, um, you know, he's bounced around a bunch position-wise. 
So I think he's really excited to finally have a home and, you know, just to be able to be here and be somewhere where he could just not learn so much of what to do, which I think, you know, he had a crash course of it in the, in, at the end of spring. But now he had the whole summer to kind of get down exactly what to do and really learning how to perfect it and learn how to do it. You do see guys like Debo, uh, Magic Belton, been a great example of guys that have some of that experience and they and that have the ability to be a servant leader. All those guys, you know, like I said, do have that ability. So we just got to make sure that we're doing a great job of fostering it and, and bringing it out of them. With a 6 a.m. report time and a schedule that stretches late into the evening, an after-lunch catnap is a must. As long as you don't mind snoozing alongside 100 of your closest friends. Camp is hard, man. It's really hard. So the way that we did camp, not letting the guys leave the building, um, guys hanging around each other all day, staying upstairs in the cots, eating together, all right, it, it builds chemistry. And that's one of the things that we want to talk about, you know, being there and, and, and being there for your teammates. As the team's most experienced quarterback, senior Perry Orth is tasked with fostering that chemistry with the players around him. But it's a relationship he built half a decade ago that could pay dividends this season. Me and Perry grew up playing against each other. He went to uh, Episcopal, it was a rival high school in Jacksonville. My senior year, we started hanging out a little bit. And when I graduated from Bulls, I went on to play with the Pirates. They had me as a pitcher and I just, I don't know what happened mentally, but I just couldn't throw strikes. And going through those struggles every day for about two and a half years, you know, your mind just kind of wanders about what else I could be doing. By the end of my third year, me and Perry kind of came in contact. I called him and just asked him, I was like, what, what is football like? And he just kind of convinced me. He was like, man, I think you'd love it. South Carolina would be perfect. We need tight ends. And it was just kind of a, it was a good fit. One thing led to another, and a few months later in June, he was here. Or over the middle, got it! First down and plenty of room for South Carolina. Wow, another big answer. Hayden Hurst, the little used wide receiver. Ever since January, I remember when he came back to school this semester, he told me, he's like, listen, like last year was fun, like being a part of the team and playing, but like I want a scholarship and I want to start and play and be a big time player for us. Getting in there with the trenches with those big guys, I got to be strong, you have to be able to move them. So I've really focused on getting physical, getting strong. His work ethic, he's the hard, easily hands down the hardest working guy on the team. You can ask Coach Dillman, he's in the weight room every day, twice a day. And this season, we're expecting him to be huge for us at the tight end position. Um, 6'5", 260 with 8% body fat. You don't really find guys like that, but he's worked himself into that role, and he's going to be a big-time guy for us. And I'm, I'm really happy to have him here, and you know, now we're going to be roommates. It's been awesome. Perry's my boy. I mean, we pretty much do everything together. We're always hanging out and doing stuff. And uh, I mean, I love the guy. I mean, he's done more than he knows for me to change my life. best reps that you get is game reps or scrimmage reps or reps where there are direct consequences to when you don't do it right. Fast pace, uh, those guys are rolling every play in and out, just next play, next play, next play. Uh, that tempo is what's really gonna help us also as a defense, practicing against that every single day. And those are two guys that it's incredible to think that they're 18 years old and I just turned 23 and they're, you know, competing with me and going to have a great opportunity to start as well. The first thing you got to do is realize where you are. But at the end of the day, there's going to be better days ahead for our football program. And we do know that and, and we know that moving forward. Next time on Gamecock Confidential, forever to thee. Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, before we start school, all three are night practices. Two of them are going to be in the stadium, and I've opened all three up.
every time I go on the field, I think about them, and I try to play for them as hard as I can. I had a vision. I was like, you know, we need to we need to do something big. And so I was thinking, I was like, why don't we just make a music video? I might go. You look styling yourself. I mean, you know, I try to keep it simple, you know, just, you know, the simple life. High angle touchdown. Oh, nice. Here we go, here we go. Hey.